Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm going to show you right now is Harris might have got her hand caught in the cookie jar. You guys wondering why the media and the gun control advocates and the gun rights advocates are all buzzing around the idea that she said she had a Glock, you know, other than the fact she told Oprah she's going to shoot people. Yeah, this might be why. If you guys are not familiar with the way that California works and where Harris hails from, you guys might find this rather interesting. Everything will be linked in the description box below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, because we would love to have you join us in our quest to spread freedom from coast to coast, border to border. And thank you for that consideration. And guys, as I'm getting this in, have you guys thought about turning one of your hobbies of upgrading and modifying your guns into a career? Because Sonoran Desert Institute, these guys right here, they have online courses that can help you do just that. I mean, imagine doing something you love for a career. There's a link in the description box below. They have all these online courses from ballistics to woodworking and finishes, shooting sports management, drones, all sorts of stuff that you can dive into. And again, do something you actually enjoy. There's a link right down there. Check them out. Everything is done from the comfort of your home. And thank you to them for making this content possible. All right, people. Listen. Every once in a while, we stumble upon something and we kind of go, oh, wait a minute, that smells, that's interesting. And when you start to get to that point, you realize that there's a lot of other people who notice it too. Because, for example, Kamala Harris is out of California. She was a very important person in the, uh, the DOJ of California. But look at this. Why Kamala Harris is facing criticism for owning a Glock. Because it seems kind of innocuous, right? It's just a Glock. Let's walk through it because this is a very interesting piece. Look at the subtitle. The Democratic presidential nominee owns a type of weapon whose sales are restricted in California under a handgun safety law. Hmm. One that she helped pass. Now, why would that be a big deal and why could that backfire? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because up until that 60 Minutes interview, she hadn't said she had a Glock. Well, if you have a Glock, and it's one of the guns that California doesn't allow because it's not a safe firearm, you find yourself in a bit of a pickle if you're leading that because you have exemptions because you are law enforcement. Watch this. Watch this, guys. This is how this works. Vice President Kamala Harris revealed this week that she owns a Glock, a weapon that is restricted for purchase in California amid a court battle over the state's gun laws. Okay. She has a Glock. So what's the big deal? Watch this. A Harris campaign aide said in a statement to NBC News that it is the same gun she had mentioned owning in 2019 during her previous run for president, and that is in a secure location in her home in California, of course it is. Harris' revelation unleashed a wave of criticism from Second Amendment groups and conservative media, which accused her of hypocrisy given her long-standing support for measures that would restrict people from purchasing certain type of weapons. Again, we're going to get into a thing in California called a roster. Hold on for me. They also question how she originally bought the handgun, giving California strict gun purchasing requirements. You starting to see the problem? Hey, Kamala, we have a question. You just now said it was a Glock, and you've been very distanced from the idea that you have a gun, which implies you don't want to talk about it. Now, the early implication was that was because you would upset your gun-controlling lefties. But it might be that you have a gun that is not inside the California roster, which would mean you'd be outside of California law through an exemption, which makes you higher than thou. Do you see how this is going to be a thing? Let's keep going. If this turns out they do not want to talk about this, there's a reason. The Harris campaign did not specify where and when she bought the Glock, which model she owns, or which storage devices she uses. Isn't that kind of weird? Why would you be secretive about this? It's a Glock. Who cares? You've said it on national TV. Why wouldn't you say where you bought it? Now, again, this seems innocuous. Who cares where she bought it? The reason it's important is she is in California. If she is violating the law or she has special status because she was a law enforcement officer, that speaks to something bigger than, oh, she has a Glock. That's why this is important. Let's keep going, though, because this is going to be delicious. Under a 2001 California law, which is being challenged in court, by the way, Handguns that are purchased or sold in the state must meet certain product safety standards, and the state maintains a roster of firearms that are approved for sale. Again, incredibly unconstitutional. You can have this gun, but you can't have that gun because it doesn't meet this criteria that we set up as a legislature. But if Harris has one of those guns that doesn't meet that criteria, whoops the toodles. 
we have a bit of a problem. Again, it's very weird they don't want to talk about this. There must be something there. Some older models of Glocks and other handguns that do not meet the standards have been grandfathered in, but the roster excludes Glock pistols released from 2010 onward, as they lack mandatory safety features such as magazine disconnects, which prevent guns from being fired if the magazines were removed. Or are removed, rather. So, 2010. She's had a gun since 2019 going forward. Still has that gun. That would be potentially something that's outside the law. Unless you are one of those special little ones that legislators love to do, there is an exemption for certain law enforcement officials for use in the discharge of their official duties. That's what they do. They do gun control for everyone except you. It's because, you know, it's crap. As well as for personal use, according to the state justice department. Those exempt include members of the justice department and district attorney's offices. Well, that's weird because that's exactly what Kamala Harris was. Again, why would you not talk about it? If it's not a big deal and it's nothing nefarious going on, there's nothing to see, who cares? It's one of the most popular pistols in the country, and it is the most popular pistol on the planet. Why would you not talk about it? Who cares? Unless there's something to care about. Watch this. More smoke and mirrors. The campaign did not say whether Harris bought the gun before the law or the limits on Glocks were enacted or whether she received an exemption to purchase her handgun. And the state justice department did not immediately comment. Okay, that's a lot of people that were asked and a lot of people that don't want to talk about it. Just saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. NBC News could not confirm Wednesday whether Harris would have qualified for an exemption in her previous positions as California's Attorney General or in a local district attorney's offices. In 2013, as Attorney General, Harris cleared the way for a new provision of the handgun safety law to take effect. That's the payoff. They won't answer the questions what, what kind of gun she has or when she bought it, which implies there's a reason they don't want you to know. The state and local law officials will not tell you what kind of gun or when it was purchased. They'll do anything else. Rob Bonta, the AG of California, will release all the gun owner's records on accident. But we can't talk about Kamala Harris's. That is a privacy concern, of course. And now at the very end here, it turns out she was one of the people who were you know, responsible for making the law even more stringent. All the while, she has one of the items that potentially could be violative of her rules as an exemption as the upper crust and higher class. You mad yet? I know. Everything I've got for you will be linked in the description box below. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And of course, make sure you let me know what you think right down there in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.